I was a president of the Midwives Association of Florida for a few years, and part of my work as a member of the Midwives Association of Florida and as the president was to talk with our legislators and also those that make the rules that govern midwives. There's a lot of rules in Florida about midwifery and about what we're allowed to do. So there's been times where I've gone back and forth to Tallahassee and have met with those that help write the rules for midwives to try to get more access to midwifery care for families in the state of Florida so that we're not quite so limited. This is important because in some states, midwifery is still illegal. There are access to care issues in the state of Florida. Not all families have access to midwives. There is a midwifery shortage in Florida. And part of the challenge that midwives are facing now is reimbursement issues with insurance, with Medicaid. The reimbursement rate is so low for midwives. Even though we provide longer visits, we have great outcomes. We provide a more personalized care. The rates that we get reimbursed through insurance is not enough to really cover the type of care that we provide. So many midwives across the state have been forced to not accept insurance and not accept Medicaid. That limits the access for families to be able to make this choice to have a midwife and not be in the hospital setting.